Hey guys, this is Christopher James. Uh, just making this video to help try to clear up some a little bit of confusion uh, regarding trolling motors, converters, batteries, and uh, why sometimes the main motors will burn up and others uh, seem to last for a long time. And uh, I've been kind of following the forums and group chats and stuff for quite a while now and I've noticed that there's a pattern to a lot of the guys that are burning their motors, their control boards or their main motors up and uh, they, a lot of them seem to be running converters and uh, I don't recommend them and uh, Minn Kota also voids warranties uh, if they find out that they've been run on converters and I believe it's because the converters are largely to blame for the reason why they're burning boards and main motors or other various components on their trolling motors um, let's see so I recommend only battery operated uh, battery uh, power supplies battery only power supplies with no converter um, simply because the way Minn Kota has designed their motors um, they've designed them with lead acid batteries uh, in mind and with lead acid battery when you pull amps the higher you turn your motor up the more amps it'll draw and therefore the internal resistance of the battery will cause the voltage to droop which um, basically uh, a converter will do the opposite of that. It will keep that voltage steady. It does not allow the voltage to droop. Um, that is part of the engineering that Minn Kota has implemented into their motors. And uh, without that uh, droop effect, it basically causes the motor to run harder than it was designed to. And simple ohm's law can support this based on volts times amps equals watts which is your total power being used there's a lot of rumors going around about trolling motors uh, drawing more amps as the voltage drops and uh, that's kind of a uh, not correct well actually it is not correct um, and that's why I put together this video here. Um, I have here a simple DC. This is a brushed DC motor, real similar to a uh, trolling motor. This comes out of a, uh, like a little scooter, a little electric scooter or something. Uh, so it's just a, you know, two wires, you know, negative and positive. Uh, you can see the maximum rated current is 14 amps and the voltage is rated at 24 volt DC. Um, <clears throat> so this motor is basically going to function exactly like a trolling motor, a uh, main motor will. Um, so the RPMs of a DC motor is directly related to the amount of voltage going in so you increase the voltage the rpms go up and the way i have this set up right here is i have a variable dc power supply that's simply supplying power uh, through the negative and positive over to here the digital readout is volts amps okay then i actually have a higher quality meter here to measure volts more accurately and I also have a clamp meter that will actually give a better accurate reading for amp draw. So let's just rule this out right now. Get rid of all the rumors. Okay, turning the voltage up here. I'll turn it up to just 12 volts. We got 12 volts, the motor's spinning. You can see you got 12 on that meter. Got about 1.3 amps on the DC power supply and the clamp meter. We have roughly 1. Uh, 1. 
it's kind of fluctuating a little bit. Uh, it's pretty similar. You got 1.34, 1.34. It's real similar. So this motor here is rated at uh, 24 volts. So let's go ahead and go right on up to 24 volts. Watch it on here. So as you can hear, the motor uh, spinning up higher and higher as I increase the voltage because the um, obviously the RPM is directly proportionate to the amount of voltage being supplied to the motor. So now um, it's been real good now, and we're pulling you know point two more amps, only point two, about two hundred more milliamps. Um, increasing the voltage that much so in here we have the same exact numbers pretty much you know they're pretty pretty darn close so as you can see here this motor spinning pretty good and the amps will go up as I try to stop that motor okay see I'm kind of putting a little pressure on that just kind of squeezing on it a little bit you can see the amps going off. The harder I squeeze on it, the more the amps go up. So the labor, the motor begins to labor and the amps go up. So according to the rumors that as the voltage drops, the amps will raise. So this is, pretend that's your trolling motor. Full blast, 24 volt trolling motor, it's on full blast, okay? So then your voltage supply drops. Watch the amps. The amps are not increasing. So we just dropped four volts approximately. They're pretty, the amps are pretty much staying about the same. We'll drop it down more. As you can see, the more I drop the voltage, the more the amps drop. This is how a trolling motor works. Just like this. And eventually, you get to the point where the motor will just simply cut off. Um, <clears throat> so with a converter, um, what happens is as the load gets put on your main motor, the voltage, it'll draw more amps. You saw me trying to stop this, the amps would go up. So what that ha what happens in a battery based power system is you draw more amps, your voltage will sag, okay? So with Ohm's law, amps times that voltage means less power is going through that motor, okay? So if you keep that voltage steady when it wants to droop with a converter, for example, that keeps that voltage steady, it fights harder than a regular battery system would. That means that more power is being consumed by this motor. And that is why these motors are burning up. It's not because of batteries. That won't ever happen. Uh, very, very rarely will it happen if you're only on lead acid batteries without converters. So uh, that's just uh, a little video here I wanted to put together for some people to uh, try to clear some things up about... Uh, these trolling motors and why they're burning up. I'm not trying to bad mouth converters. I know they have their place, but what I would do is try to run them as close to a fully charged lead acid battery voltage um, as possible if I had to run them. Uh, I can't recommend them. I will never recommend them uh, because they're not recommended by Minn Kota and they, ver they won't, uh, avoid warranties and I don't blame them because they're burning up motors uh, based on everything that I've been seeing they 
they're real hard on trolling motors um, and it's only really the guys that are pushing their motors uh, on full blast for long periods of time guys that are running converters and they're not pushing their motors that hard they're staying maybe you know say the prop is on like number six up to like eight maybe they'll run it on max for just a couple bursts here and there uh, those guys aren't the guys that are going to be having the issues um it's the guys that are running them non-stop full blast through muck weeds stuff like that drawing lots of amps and then the converters are fighting to keep that voltage up and that motor is just getting pushed real hard more so than Minn Kota has ever intended uh, so that's it I just wanted to lay that out there um, try to clear up some confusion for some guys out there hopefully you all understand thanks for watching take care guys see you out on the water